All right, welcome back. This is setting up your Gunther Hobby drilling system video. So um, I have my hobby system. So obviously it's a little used and, and, and dirty, but I kind of took it apart and rearranged it as how it would come out of the box. So um, when you get it, it's going, the, the head of the drill press is going to be lowered so that it could fit in the box. Um, so the first thing you need to do is um, identify the three hand bolts on the side. Um, you're going to want to first loosen the top bolt and then the bottom. And, and it's important to, to hold the head of the drill uh, press while you're loosening these bolts because um, you really don't, the, the head will fall down and, and you can smash your, your multi drill or if you have a drill bit in there. Um, so get your hand underneath it and, and be ready to catch the head as you start loosening these bolts. Um, so start from the top one, go to the middle one, and then the bottom one is your, your last catch, you know, so, so always do your last, the bottom one for, uh, last. So um, just loosen it and, and, and raise it up towards the top, you know, it doesn't, you know, make that kind of flush up there. Um, and then it, it, just tighten the bottom one. You don't need to tighten all three right now. I'm just tighten the bottom one. This just gives you some working space. So the next thing you want to do is um, the the drill press arm is 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 not attached. It's really simple. You just put it in the hole and screw it in. Um, and then next, I always put the plumbing together. So these are all compression fittings. So you take off your the nut here, and then you. Um, Take your uh, pressure hose, just slide the nut onto the pressure hose and put the hose onto the little bib there and push it all the way flush and then just hand tighten this down. It doesn't need to be, you don't need to get a wrench or anything, just, just hand tighten it down. Um, do the same thing with your hose connector. Um, the hose connector that comes in your box might look different. Um, we have a couple of different variations of these. So, so don't worry if, if your hose connector doesn't look like mine, they're all compression fittings, so they should all go on the same. Again, uh, put the nut on the uh, pressure, uh, pressure hose and then slide the hose onto the little uh, bib there and then hand tighten it down. This is ready to hook up to a hose or a, a water spigot. Um, so set that off to the side. Um, next, you're going to want to kind of do a, a, a course adjustment with your magnet. So it's probably offset a little bit because the head was lowered and we don't want it hitting in, in transport. So just kind of slide it over to the center of the magnetic base. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, um, but just kind of center it. The next uh, step would be to take your 2.5 millimeter drill bit with your ejector needle. Stick that ejector needle in the drilling spindle and it's, it's neat to see the, the spring that's inside. You can push up on, on it a little bit um, and get a sense of that spring. Put the needle back in the drill bit, insert into the spindle and push up a little bit so that those threads will catch. And then hand tighten it down. Then uh, always have handy a 17 millimeter wrench that goes on the chuck. And I am using uh, a Leatherman, but you could use a pair of pliers or um, you know, anything to kind of snug that down. You don't wanna you know, use all your muscles and strip out the th threads, but you know, just tighten it down. Um, then I will come and add the metal insert into the magnetic base and tighten this down by hand first and then just give it a little um, tightening with the Leatherman or wrench or whatever you might have handy. Insert your counterpart. This just screws in. Tighten it down. Doesn't need to be um, stripping threads or anything. So the next step is getting everything aligned. So you're going to want to um, see where just see where it is. Take the arm, um, lower the multi drill, see where everything is. 
Now right now this is a little high. That the drill, the the head of the drill is a little bit high. So I'm going to want to lower that. So um, you have a couple of mechanisms to adjust the height. Um, on this side you have um, this this adjustment lever that can actually raise or lower the head in relation to this collar. So you can actually lower the collar. Um, again, make sure you have your hand under here because as soon as you release the, um, the hand um, bolt, the head's gonna wanna fall. So re release it slowly, catch the weight, and lower it down a bit. You know, maybe just, not much, maybe an inch, maybe an inch or, or two. Um, try, try and get it, you know, your, your, your course adjustments close. Um, using the head um, and then see where it lines up now obviously we're we're off center but um, I'm gonna want to take it up a little bit with this lever system so that way I can lower it now now I have my arm I have the the the, uh, the drill spindle all the way lowered and I, I, I then lower the entire head using this lever system onto the counterpart. Once I feel that weight kind of released, then I come in, I tighten all three of these hand bolts. Tighten, tighten, tighten. Now the head's locked in place. And I can get to my fine adjustment. So I lower it again, and I just take a plastic mallet um, and I just kind of tap it so that these, the counterpart and the drill bit are flush. All right, that looks pretty good. Um, so again, there's, there's a couple of different ways you can adjust this. You can lower it and stop, stop the, the travel of your drill bit with the um, the drill stop. You can use um, the hand bolts. Um, it takes a little bit to get used to, but you know it, it, it won't take that long. Um, at this point, you're ready to connect to some water. Um, plug in your Krieger 350 watt transformer into the wall. Take your um, European uh, proximal drill press uh, plug. Plug it in, they all have a, um, a breaker on it. So turn on the breaker, turn on your water, and you should be ready to drill. I hope that helps you set up your Gunther Hobby drilling system. Uh, check out our website for any more information uh, you may be looking for. You can always send me an email. Um, check out the link below and we'll see you next time.